guys, I'm Beulah. So as promised, I'm going to show you how I made the fabric name applique for my nephew's shirt. So first I'm just going to start out by uh, ironing out all of those wrinkles just to make sure I have a smooth surface for the applique to adhere to. Next, I'm going to measure out where I want the applique to be. So I'm measuring two inches in from each side of the shirt and it comes to about eight and a half inches, but I just uh, made it eight inches instead and I want it to be two and a half inches tall. This is the fabric that I'm going to be using. He loves trucks, he knows the names of all of them, so I just thought this would be very fitting. I'm going to measure out a rectangle that's slightly bigger than the 8 by 2.5 inches that I just measured on the shirt. So I'm measuring out 3 inches by 9 inches. Heat and bond. This is heat and bond on one side, it's just papery. On the other side, it's textured and shiny. The side that's textured and shiny is the part that is going to adhere to the fabric. So that's the part that you want against the back of the fabric. We're going to place the back side of the fabric onto the textured shiny side of the heat and bond and cut around it. We're going to place the fabric face down and then the heat and bond face down with the textured shiny side touching the fabric. and we're going to bond the two together. Now go ahead and cut off the excess heat and bond. Peel away the paper backing and now you can see the back of the fabric is nice and shiny. This is the side that it's going to go against the shirt. So open up Cricut Design Space. If you don't have a Cricut machine, first of all, don't even worry about it. You can also do this by hand. Um, it's just gonna take a little bit more time. You'll have to have a little more patience. But if you have, you know, a stencil or something like that that you wanna trace onto the fabric and then cut it out, you can definitely do that. So I'm just gonna search for a font that I like. Just gonna keep clicking around until I find one and once I found one, I'm going to size it to the eight by two and a half inches that I measured out on the shirt. Then click make it and this is how it's going to be cut out on the mat. Click continue and make sure your dial is set to fabric. Here's our mat, we're going to put the bonded fabric shiny side down onto the mat making sure we line it up exactly where we saw the letters on the mat in the previous screen and we're going to load it into the Cricut press the load button and then the cut button So now you can peel away the excess fabric from the corners 
and you can see the letters taking shape. Use a weeding tool or maybe even some tweezers or a toothpick to weed out the insides of letters like the A or maybe a B, stuff like that. Then peel away those letters. Next I'm using a ruler to make sure the letters are placed exactly where I want them to be, making sure they're spaced out evenly enough, uh, that they're straight. Once I'm happy with the placement, I am going to place the ruler on the bottom half of the letters just to hold them in place while I get the iron and use it to adhere the top half of the letters to the shirt. Once those are adhered, I'll go ahead and iron the rest of the letters. There you have it. If you haven't already, go ahead and watch my previous video on how I made his pajama pants. Thanks for watching.